Do you want to start streaming your Foundry game on the likes of Twitch or YouTube? This module is a quick and easy way to set up an extremely pleasing viewing experience for others. No longer will people check into your stream only to quickly leave due to how you are presenting it to them. This module is of course the very awesome stream view. After downloading the module, go over to your configure settings tab. This will give you access to the module settings. The first thing you will have to set up is another user in your game so the module can piggyback out in their view. Once done, launch two versions of Foundry, one as the GM and the other as the new streamer player. You'll want to point how you are capturing your screen to this view. Do note that depending on the user permissions, you can set it so the audience can see what a player can see, or you can set it up so they can see everything the GM can see. The main setting here is the camera setting, switching between automatic and directed. The automatic setting is great for in-character chat roleplay and also awesome for combat. This mode automatically zooms in and tracks the person talking as well as the person whose turn it is. No longer does your viewer have to squint at the screen to see whose turn it is. The directed camera setting instead follows the GM screen, showing the audience what the GM is currently looking at on the scene. This is better for the more general non-combat, non-in-chat roleplay. This allows you to easily show what you want to show and nothing else. Another cool thing is that if you're using in-game voice chat, it will zoom in on the token speaking and give them a small speech bubble overhead. Now your viewers won't be confused on whose voice is which character. Another awesome thing is that whenever you show other players a handout, it'll pop up on the stream as well. And then, after a set amount of time, disappear by itself without you having to do anything to it. The module streams line the things your viewers need to see baseline, only showing them the chat box and a pop out turn order whenever you get into combat. But the module itself is super customizable to your liking and the liking of your viewers. So pop it in and play with it until you figure out what you like. If you like this type of content, make sure to comment down below. And if you want to see one of the best modules for immersions, click here.